You know, the interwebs and the cyberwebs can be a frightening place, especially if you're somebody like me who works in tech and I see bad actors, hackers, infiltrators trying to get into computer systems all over the place. And at home, you're seeing it quite frequently. In businesses, you're seeing it even more as people are trying to get in and cause havoc. There's a whole range of different sorts of cyber attacks, cyber techniques that bad people use to try to bring down systems and steal data. There's malware, there's phishing, there's social engineering. And in this video, we're gonna be focusing on this thing called DDoS, DOS or DDoS, D-D-O-S, denial of service, or distributed denial of service. We're gonna be giving you a bit of a snapshot about what these are and maybe giving you some ideas about how you can prevent these things from actually happening. Before we talk about that, check this out. If you've watched any of my videos, you will know that I love VMware. I'm a big supporter of VMware for virtualization. I love running VMware locally, on-premise, but I also love running VMware on the cloud. One of my favorite cloud providers is a private hosting company called Liquid Web. You can actually run VMware directly on their cloud and it's absolutely brilliant. And because it is a private cloud, it's fully managed. So Liquid Web, they look after the workflows. They take care of everything else. So all the cloud infrastructure, all of the operating systems, the services, you just look after your VMs themselves. They're also VMware Professional Solution Provider Partners, and all of their cloud solutions are VMware Cloud Verified. They have a great support team, 24-7, 365 days a year, so easily reachable if you ever need any sort of help. So check out the description of this video to actually get a link so you can sign up to Liquid Web. So there's heaps of different options available, heaps of different plans. One of them will definitely be helpful to you. Thanks for that. Now. Let's talk about DDoS, Distributed Denial of Service or Denial of Service for DOS for short. The whole point of a DDoS attack is to bring a service down, generally an online service or a website and making that website unavailable. And the main way that they do that is by overwhelming that website with traffic from lots of places from a multiple amount of sources. Hence, it's distributed. It's coming from lots of different sorts of places. And what could happen is there could be a pool of hundreds of computers or thousands of computers out there that are all being used to try to send multiple ping commands to a website to try to bring that website down. And it's not uncommon for a computer to be infected with something that is being used to actually do a DDoS attack and that person doesn't even know that it's running on their computer. And they're used to send a flood of traffic to target servers, right, directly to websites and essentially makes it impossible for real legitimate users to be able to access that website. Websites go down because they just cannot handle the load. Essentially, they work by exploiting vulnerabilities for the most part in that target system, in that target website. And one of the most common ways is to limit bandwidth because there's so much traffic going to that particular website and it just gets flooded because it just can't handle all of this traffic all at once. So it floods the bandwidth that is available to it and then prevents access to it. Could also be if the server is not beefed up with a lot of good resources, the server itself just loses capacity, loses CPU, RAM, it's just gone through the roof, it just cannot handle all this amount of requests. And the attacker, the person who's actually setting up this DDoS, may use lots of different techniques, such as botnets, where it's just a network of compromised devices. This is what I mentioned before, a lot of computers being used together to try to bring down a website. Now you ask yourself, how can you protect your website, your online sites from these sort of DDoS attacks? One of the most simplest ways is to implement a DDoS system, a system that is designed to look out for this suspicious behavior. And lots of ISPs or internet service providers offer this protection service because ultimately all the traffic is flowing through your ISP to then your website, so you can work with them to put these systems into play. And then these ISPs can detect and block a lot of this traffic before it even reaches your network. If it's seen coming from a 
pool of IP addresses from a foreign country, or it just looks a little bit suspicious at specific times of the day, it can protect your system before it even gets there. Using firewalls is another common technique to prevent DDoS attacks from happening. A firewall can be used to block specific IP addresses. For example, you know that a specific range of IP addresses are being used, we well, can block that entire range. You can block host names so that if somebody from that range is trying to even get to that device, the firewall intercepts that first and does not even allow it to get to your server. Another common way is to make sure that you're keeping your software up to date. So if you're running a website running WordPress, make sure that your WordPress is up to date, making sure that any plugins that perhaps are being used are up to date, making sure that there are add-ons that you could add within your WordPress website, for example, that can prevent things such as a DDoS attack. Because a lot of the time, the vendors, the providers, the people who make this software, release software to actually ensure that things like that are mitigated. Use CDNs. These are quite awesome. They're called content delivery networks. And essentially, they can help you to distribute your network across multiple servers, essentially making it more difficult for attackers to overwhelm a single server. Rather than having one server, you have a pool of servers. Similar to this is also load balances. Stick a whole bunch of load balances before your website. So when a query comes into a particular location, it goes to a load balancing server or a pool of load balancing servers. And then on the other side of the load balancing server are a whole bunch of your web servers. And what the load balancer will do is it'll go, okay, query one goes over here, query two goes over here, query three goes over here. And you can do this on scale so that even if you are flooded with lots and lots of queries, the load balancer can protect that. But also within a load balancer, you can also set up several settings to actually look out for specific DDoS sort of attacks and stop them from even happening in the first place. A great load balancer that I love is HA Proxy. So you may want to go check that one out service that I love and I use quite a fair bit for protection of DDoS. And I would almost say every single website should probably be behind this thing called Cloudflare. I love Cloudflare. I'm not sponsored by them. I just use them quite a fair bit and absolutely love them. They do a few great things. They improve your website performance. They do SSL encryption and other bits and pieces. They use the CDN, which we mentioned, the content delivery network, but they're also great for DDoS protection. It actually can identify and mitigate any of these sort of DDoS attacks before they actually even happen, before they reach your server. Look at the traffic, they go, that looks a little bit suspicious and they can separate the legitimate traffic from the malicious traffic. So it actually has smarts built in to be able to separate bad from good traffic and they actually will prevent any of this malicious traffic to even get to your server in the first place. Make sure you have a lot of protection before your website so that if it does happen, you can spread the load, you can stop all of these things from even happening before it hits your website. Have you been a victim of a DDoS attack? Maybe you work in a company or responsible for stopping bad people from bringing down websites, from bringing down online services. Has this happened to you? Have you seen it happen? If there's techniques that you have used to prevent these in future from happening, let us know down below. I love to learn new things and hopefully you can teach me and teach everybody else. Hey, I release videos every week on all things tech. So why don't you do the subscribe thing as well so you don't miss out on anything and stay tuned because the next video is coming up right now.